In topic 13, common fractions, we are going to focus on percentage increase and percentage decrease. In order to calculate the percentage increase or decrease, you need to know the following rhyme. New minus old divided by old. I will illustrate this in the activity, namely exercise 13.11. So for exercise 13.11, we have to solve these word problems. For each problem, first identify whether it represents a percentage increase or decrease. Number one, the price of Jonah's favorite chocolate slab has changed from 5 rand to 6 rand. Determine the percentage increase. So, it's often easiest to draw a time diagram. So, basically, we have um, the old and we have the new. So, what was the old price? It was 5 rand, and then it changed to the new price, which is 6 rand. So what again is our rhyme? It is the new minus the old over the old. So now we can simply substitute. So what's the new? 6 rand. So we have 6 minus the old, the old was 5 rand over the old, which is 5 rand. Okay, and then all of that, okay, all that I need to add is we have to multiply by 100 over 1 to get the percentage. So that we have to multiply by 100 over 1. So what is 6 minus 5? It's 1. So we have 1 fifth times 100 over 1. And now we can cancel. 5 go into itself once. 5 go into 100 20 times. 20 times 5 is 100. Now we have at the top 1 times 20, which is 20. At the bottom we have 1 times 1, but 20 divided by 1 is simply 20. So it is in fact 20%. And since there is a no sign, it means it's positive, meaning it was a 20% increase. If there was a negative sign, it would have mean it is a 20% decrease. So we can see the price increase by 20%. We can test it. What is 10% of 5 Rand? Well, that's easy. It's 50 cent. So 20% is double that. So 50 cents times 2 is 1 Rand. And what do you know? 5 Rand plus 1 Rand is in fact equal to 6 Rand. So that's confirmation that we got the correct percentage as our final solution. Okay, so number two, I'm going to give you a chance to attempt this, making use of what we already know from the previous slide. The population of lions in a game farm have changed from 20 to 17 in the last month. Determine the percentage decrease in the population. So my hint to you is going to be to draw it. Firstly, a time diagram. Determine what was the old. Determine what is the new. New solid or rhyme, new, minus old, over old, times 100 
times 100 over 1 and substitute back. <coughs> Okay, so let's see what was the, what's old, what's new. <laughs> the population of lions in a game farm have changed from 20 to 17. So from is the old, it was 20 to the new or the most latest, which is 17. So now we can substitute, so in the place of new we have 17, we subtract the old, which is 20, over the old, which is 20, multiply all of that by 100 over 1 to get a percentage. So 17 minus 20, we have 17, we give more away than we have, so we owe the difference. Difference between 20 and 17 is 3. We still have to multiply that by 100 over 1. So let's see if we can cancel some of the factors. Well, a 0 and a 0 is able to cancel. 2 can go into itself and 10, 2 go into itself once, 2 go into 10, 5 times. So at the top we have negative 3 times 5, which is negative 15, negative times positive is a negative. 1 times 1 is 1, if we divide by 1 it doesn't change the top, so we can say it's negative 15%, which means it is a decrease of 15 percent so the population of lions decreased by 15 percent can easily double check we started with 20 what is 10 percent of 20 yes that's two what is five percent will be a half so 10 and 5 percent is 15 percent so 2 and 1 gives 3 20 minus 3 17 what do you know so it works number three the price of lamp oil will increase by six percent at the end of the month if lamp oil sells for 12 rand now, what will the new price next month be? So we can say now the price is 100%, which is the same as 12 rand. If it increased by 6%, it will be equal to the to the 100% plus 6%, so it will be what's 100 plus 6? 106% is equal to, well, that's what we want to calculate. So, if we are dealing with percentages, if we want percentages, we have to multiply by 100 over 1. In general. Okay, but now we let's just see. We have hundred. We move to hundred and six percent. Now the easy way to do this is to say, well, 
If I can calculate 1% of 100, then it's easy to get 106%. I just multiply 1% 1 by 106, because 1 times 106 is 106. So, let's take the left. We divide the 100% by itself to get 1%. What we do to the left, we do to the right. So, so we will have to divide the 12 also by 100. Now we have 1%, but we want 106%. And we say to get from 1% to 106, we have to multiply by 106. So what we do to the left, we will have to do to the right. So we will have to multiply by 106 over 1. And now we can cancel. So let's see. 100, 2 can go into 100 50 times. 2 can go into 106 53 times. Mm, 2 can go into 50, 25 times, 2 can go into 12, 6 times. Let's see if there's anything else that can cancel. Mm, doesn't seem so. Let's multiply tops. 6 times 50 is 3, 300. 6 times 3 is 18, so we have 318 at the top. Bottom 25 times 1 is 25. It's a mixed fraction. So we can ask how many times does 25 go into 31? Well, one time. We still have a remainder of 6. How many times does 25 go into 68? Twice. 2 times 25 is 50. What's still remaining? Well, 68 minus 50 is 18. We keep the bottom or the denominator the same. So the new price is 12 and 18 twenty-fifths. But now, that's not how we quote price. So actually this 1825s we will want to write as cents. So how do we get from 25 to 100? We multiply by 4. We know we have 100 cents in a rand. So what we do to the bottom we have to do to the top. Only for this 1825 um, it's actually better to show it separately. Let's just remove that. So we could say we have at the bottom now the 100 that we wanted all, all along. 10 times 4 is 40. 8 times 4 is 32, which gives us 72 cents. So we have 72 over 100. So it's 72 cents. So it's in fact 12 rand and 72 cents. Take note, we don't write cents here at the back. You know, if we have the right sign after the comma, we have the cents.